and speaking of the weather, WVUA 23's Ivy Irvin spent some time today looking for ways to beat the heat. She joins us live now with more Ivy. We've had a string of very hot days, including earlier today. I caught up with people looking for ways to beat the heat in Druid City. Another hot and humid day here in Alabama. So hot that Lanasia Brown decided to take her daughter to Shelby Park to keep her cool and active. A good way to keep cool, a good way to get out and not be in the house during the summer. And her daughter, Chloe, loved it. I sat on the water. Other children, like Wally and Zybrina Leatherwood, agreed that spending time around the water was nice because it's hot. It's hot and it's hot and everything. And while it's nice to spend time outdoors, fire department captain Jason Norris says that the heat can become dangerous quickly. If you have to be out in the heat, we recommend, you know, that you uh, wear light colored clothing, wear a hat if you can, um, take frequent breaks. And obviously, drink a lot of water. But trying to, to limit your time in the heat and stay hydrated is the number one thing. But limiting your time in the heat could be hard if you don't have air conditioning in your home. And Sharon Morgan, a case manager for Temporary Emergency Services Fan Drive, says that's the case for some Tuscaloosa residents, which is why WVUA 23 teamed up with TES for the third annual fan drive to collect fans for those who need them most. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right. Morgan says that these fans can make a huge difference for someone without any AC in their home. Well, to keep the air circulating in the house uh, is a big deal. If you would like to help out, Morgan says that it isn't too late. You can go to... At 1705 15th Street, uh, you can drop off uh, a box fan. You can drop off a monetary donation. TES is open Monday through Friday from 9 to 430. You can drop off a fan or find out how to get one. TES received over 115 donations today, which means their goal has been reached. But donations are still welcome. Reporting live, I'm Ivy Irvin, WVUA 23 News.